Hi, PowerPlate community. Haley Hollander, training and education consultant for PowerPlate. And I'm excited to be with you here today to celebrate women. Now, what can the PowerPlate do for us women? A lot. In fact, there are many, many benefits. However, today we're going to talk about bone health. Now, why is bone health so important for women? Well, women of perimenopausal and menopausal age groups are reported that one in three of us will have osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a degenerative bone disease where the bones become very porous and brittle and we're predisposed to fractures. So physicians I always recommend for women who have osteoporosis, a weight bearing exercise routine. Weight bearing, we think, yeah, I need to add more load or mass like a dumbbell. Yes, that, that's part of the equation. But if you remember Newton's law, force equals mass times acceleration. So mass is only part of the equation. In fact, the other part of the equation is acceleration. That's where power plate comes into the equation. Power plate is a whole body vibration platform. Everything that you would do on the ground when done on the power plate is enhanced because of the vibration. So let's talk a little bit about the vibration of the power plate. The vibration of the power plate can be adjusted in two ways. First, what we call frequency the number of times it vibrates per second. So if I were to place my power plate on number one, the frequency would be 30 hertz, meaning that the power plate would vibrate 30 times per second. Now, if I put that for 30 seconds at 30 hertz, I would have 900 potential muscle activations. The second part to how the power plate vibrates is amplitude. We, and that's the distance that it vibrates. The distance can be low or it can be high. So the displacement of that vibration. So when we say force equals mass times acceleration, we can increase force in the body and the tissues by way of acceleration through the frequency and amplitude on the power plate. Now, you might have recalled that I, I said there's 900 potential muscle activations. Because we're talking about bone health, many times we think, well, weight-bearing exercise, increasing bone mineral density, bone health, I have to have a lot of compression forces. Mm, yes, that's part of the equation. However, we also know that through Wolf's biological principle that bone will remodel along the lines of stress. So, but thinking of our anatomy, we also have our muscles, tendons, ligaments, and fascia that all connect to our bones. And as they start to contract and move, they're pulling on those bones, creating stress and forces to help repair and remodel that bone tissue. So we add acceleration through the power plate, we start to increase activation through the muscles, tendons, ligaments, and fascia. We start to get that pulling effect on the bone, and therefore the bone remodels itself. That's pretty cool. So when it comes to the power plate, there's many different ways in which we can use it. But today I'm going to show you four unique exercises that you could use to help with bone health. And we're gonna adjust our positioning and our movements so it becomes omnidirectional and we start to work in different angulations and get those muscles, tendons, and ligaments to pull on the bones like puppet strings, if you will, to create different stresses and help our bone health. So I'm gonna start on 1G, 30 hertz low, and I'm going to go ahead and start in a nice wide base and I'm going to begin with a squat. So sitting in the chair and standing. So the squat is an excellent lower body exercise. Fabulous to train the muscles of the legs but also the core. 
And then I'm going to add a, a different variable in my stance. I'm going to change it so that I have one foot forward of the other, and I'm going to start to squat again. This creates a different load profile on the lower body. It becomes <laughs> omnidirectional, and I start to train those tissues, those muscles, tendons, ligaments, like those puppet strings are pulling in different directions. The next movement we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna use our straps. So keeping our power plate on 30 hertz low, I've attached the straps. We're gonna go into an upper body pull. I'm crossing my straps. I'm staying nice and low as I sit in the chair. Keep tension on the straps and pull the body down to the plate. Inhale, come up. Bring those hands right into the rib cage. So now we're getting that upper body strength component in our movement. And we're starting to feel everything up here. I'm gonna change it and go unilateral, so one arm. So as I come down, I pull. And now I have a different force profile on the body. But I can also add a rotation with my free arm and now I'm starting to get a little more omnidirectional, the different force on the body. Our third movement we're gonna do, we're gonna go into a lunge. So keeping one foot on the plate, one foot back, we're gonna sit down to the chair, push the plate away. You can feel everything start to load here in this front leg. Then we're gonna add a reach. And we're gonna take that reach into different directions, starting to activate different angulations of that soft tissue, still using that acceleration to start turning everything on. And that becomes a really great lower body exercise. Finally, let's go back up to our upper body. We're gonna lengthen our strap just a little bit here. And now we're gonna go into a lift. So finding a nice base position, always keeping a soft bend in the knees. I'm gonna pull up on that strap as I sit in the chair. Working that deltoid and that upper arm. But then I'm gonna to start to go in some different directions. Breathing throughout the movement. Okay, so there you have four different movements squat, pull, lunge, lift, that you can implement. But even more importantly, you can start to be omnidirectional with your movements. Now, PowerPlate has research that shows perimenopausal and postmenopausal women who implemented PowerPlate exercise three times a week for 30 minutes saw a 16% increase in strength and a one and a half percent increase in hip bone mineral density. That is what it's all about, is our bone health. So utilizing the power plate is a great tool to increase your bone health without putting on all of the load and the weight.